What's up, guys? How are you? Happy Patriots Day. For those of you who don't know what that is, I'll explain. It's the Daily Juice podcast here from bettingpros.com. I'm your host, Matt Peralt, every single morning. We are here on bettingpros.com, on the YouTube channel for Betting Pros Audio, wherever you get your audio podcasts. Always being brought to you by BetMGM. The offer is always above me on YouTube. $10 bet to win $150. Really easy, really fun, really simple to jump on in to get involved with that you guys just fill up that code juice 150 at sign up with bet mgm all right so not a bad little four day run three and one yesterday that's good we'll take that a seven and five mark over the last four days not great barely over the juice but not horrible given where i have been and what the first two weeks of april looked like so not going to be angry at seven and five, but let's hopefully have a little bit of a better week. How about that? Let's turn things around here and let's start to pick up some momentum as we get rolling. All right. So the three team money line parlay hits at minus 110. Today is Patriots Day. So I have a Patriots Day Peralt parlay for you. PPP. It's the PPP parlay for a plus. 200 bet that you guys can hop in with. I'll explain more on that coming up today. I got a basketball play for you, a hockey play for you. By the way, overs are like 10 and 5 over the last two days, and somebody told me that favorites went 20 and 0. All favorites won again yesterday. They were 14 and 0 on Saturday and 6 and 0 on Sunday. 20 and 0? Um, okay. <laughs> End of the year hockey blindly bet overs. I don't know how that continues, but that is a stupid trend. If that is true, that it went 20 and O over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday in the NHL, that has to be some type of record. I'm guessing. I mean, not even one dog wins. Hello. <laughs> wow. All right. So it's Patriots day. What is Patriots day? Patriots day is marathon Monday. Patriots day is well, self-explanatory, right? Celebrate the patriots of this country and the founding of America. It's also Marathon Monday, meaning we get to watch people in phenomenal shape run 26 and a half miles up Heartbreak Hill, and the Red Sox play a day game, and not just a day game, a morning day game. 11-10 first pitch. 11-10 first pitch. It's crazy. Red Sox are used to this, okay? They're used to playing on Marathon Monday. It's kind of a rite of passage. The Red Sox, well... It's only one game, but they beat up on the Twins yesterday. I think the Red Sox win again, okay? Red Sox on Marathon Monday. I know it's Rich Hill, but I think the Red Sox win on Marathon Monday against the Twins. The Twins are going to be like, wait, what time are we playing baseball? Um, Nine o'clock, their body clock time, their central time. I guess their central time, right, in Minneapolis? So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Still early, but Red Sox, I think, will wind up winning it. I'm going with the Red Sox on the money line. There is your Patriots Day leg one. Leg two, Philadelphia 76ers. One of the places where our country was founded, right? Signing the Declaration of Independence and all the fun stuff that happened with the Liberty Bell. And Philadelphia, it's Patriots Day. Got to have Philadelphia. Raptors are in trouble. They can't stop Joel Embiid. I like Embiid props to the over tonight, by the way. I think Embiid has a monster game in game two. Philly wins game two, goes up 2-0 on Toronto. Leg number two. And finally, speaking of all those favorites in the NHL, I'm in Vegas, the only Vegas team playing today on Patriots Day, Vegas Golden Knights at home against the New Jersey Devils, who suck on the road. Vegas has to win this game. They have to win every game for that matter. They're playing better. Vegas to win. It's minus 340. Money line. But you combine all three. It's a plus 200. Two is my lucky number. One of my lucky numbers on Patriots Day. It's the Patriots Day Peralt Parlay. PPP for plus 200 today. Let's go. <laughs> Red Sox money line. Philly money line. Vegas money line. Play one for a half a unit here on a Monday. Play number two. Let's go to the NBA. Okay. I like this minus 110 number that we got with a three-team money line parlay that we got. I think, and people are going to roll their eyes, sharps are going to wag their finger at me. But one thing that I have learned from doing radio slash 
online stuff with Dave Sherapan for so many years now is that he has a key number of seven in basketball. He thinks once you get to seven, it starts to become a problem to cover. It starts to get really wonky at the end of the game where last second threes and free throws because realistically you're up by three possessions. So you don't need to do very much. The Nuggets and the Raptors are going to be playing for their lives here tonight for game two. They got to push, man. They're going to fight and fight all the way to the end. Going down 2-0, going back home is tough. You hate that. You steal that game two, you go back home, chance to win game three, go up two games to one. It's a pretty big deal. I think the Nuggets might actually be live here to lose the game but cover. But I'm not positive because, well, the defense and the new death lineup for the Warriors looked incredible in game number one. So I'm not totally confident that they cover seven. I think they do. I don't know they do. So you can take a four-point teaser, okay? And you can pull this down to minus three. Seven is the line. Uh, Warriors minus three. I do think Philly wins in covers. But again, the Raptors have been a spunky bunch and they have fought hard. And Bede's got to play better. I think Philly wins. Not positive Philly covers here, okay? So if the Raptors win game two, I lose two bets, okay? So I am riding on Philadelphia to play well here at home and to take care of business in game two. If they don't, I'm in trouble already out of the gate, okay? One game could destroy, <laughs> really wreck my day today. So just, I know I'm banking a lot in Philadelphia here, but it's Patriots Day, so I'm going to bank on the Sixers to do their part in the red, white, and blue. Warriors, Sixers, Minus three, four point teaser at minus 110 for a half a unit. Okay. Second NBA bet. You know what I'm betting. We're going with the under with Dallas. This is the lowest point total of the year for Dallas and for Utah for that matter. They've had 206s and a half. That number has popped. But 206 and a half when it popped up against Oklahoma City for Dallas went under by 19 and a half points. 208 and a half against Milwaukee went under by 11 and a half points. When the books have put up numbers like this, Dallas has gone under even 208 against Utah. The closing number was 208, went under by 16 points. Books don't know what to do here with this number, but the three games have been played in Dallas between Utah and the Mavericks, the under is 3-0, and okay? I'm just going to ride the streak here. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm not going to get too crazy here. The Mavericks are 32-20-1 against the conference, and at home, they are an unbelievable 30-11-1 to the under. Utah now on the road is 25-16-1 to the under. Luka is not playing in game two. Under, 205 and a half. It's low, it's sweaty, the first move was to the over, but I think there's a little bit of a head fake with that number, to be honest. I think the, the professional is going to come in here on the under heavily on this. Last three games for Utah have gone under. Two of the last three have gone under, but again, 3-0 to the under against Utah, and this home streak for Dallas is stupid when it comes to them at home against the number on the under. Under 205.5 for a half a unit. And the last bet, <clears throat> the last half a unit as to what we're going to throw in here, Capitals and the Avalanche. Man, <clears throat> offense, offense, offense. These two teams have played one time so far here this season, and it was a 6-3 win. Nine goals got scored. We talked about the number of goals being scored. Yesterday in the NHL, we saw 7, 8, 11, 9, 6, and 10 goals scored in those games. No one's playing any defense right now. Washington is at Colorado. Colorado's one of the best teams in the NHL at home. They're 34-4-3. 6-3 was the first final. For the Capitals, their last five games have had 12, 10, 11, 6, and 9 goals in total. For the Avalanche, it's been 11, 4, 12, 3, and 9. Over 6.5, minus 120. Capitals and the Avalanche, we're jumping in here. Caps, I would bet it all the way up to minus 130, depending where your book has it. Over six and a half, minus 130 probably gets us in the territory where they start thinking about going to seven. 
Some books will close this at seven tonight for Washington and Colorado. Over six and a half goals at minus 120 for a half a unit. All right. I'm jacked. Celtics won. Only game we got wrong yesterday was the Celtics losing or not covering, but winning on that amazing Kyrie Irving layup. I, I just, I got a lot to say later on here on my other show about Kyrie Irving and about the Celtics and the comments after the game, flipping off the fans. Never seen a guy go off for 40 and have rabbit ears the way that Kyrie Irving had in that game. He was so interested in what people were saying to him. He probably should have been more interested as to where Jason Tatum was on that last possession. By the way, you want to laugh? Go find the footage of Kevin Durant playing defense on that last uh, on that last possession. He looked like Larry David trying to look around going like, where am I supposed to be? Where am I supposed to be? Oh, ball there. Uh oh, oh, game over. They can't rebound. Defensively, they're a mess. Huge win for Boston. Overcoming an epic fourth quarter by Kyrie Irving, by the way. I mean, regardless of the comments during the game or after the game, incredible performance by Kyrie, but 1-0 Boston. It's all that matters. A lot to come this week. Should be a really fun basketball week for us. Again, we're going with the PPP, the Patriots Day Peralt Parlay. Red Sox, Sixers, Vegas, plus 200, half a unit. Warriors, Sixers, four-point teaser, minus three, minus 110, half a unit. Under 205.5 for Dallas and Utah, half a unit. Capitals, Avalanche, over 6.5 at minus 120. Half a unit. Busy day, busy Monday. Happy Patriots Day. Back tomorrow, every morning, it's the Daily Juice Podcast. Oh, it's being brought to you by BetMGM.